All right, leaders of DARE groups, this is the message recap um, from this last week's message where we talked about uh, Jesus's healing ministry. And so to recap uh, what we talked about, we talked about how there were three approaches, not just three, but we pulled out three approaches to Jesus for healing. <clears throat> and one was the man who had a son with epileptic seizures that were uh, that had a demonic or spiritual cause. And he approached Jesus and he said, Lord, if you can do anything, then have compassion on us and heal my son. And that was a prayer of desperation. And then Jesus pulled that situation around. He said, no, if you can believe uh, anything is possible for him who believes. And the man said, Lord, I believe, help my unbelief. And so we talked about how a prayer of desperation is broken down into these parts where we say, uh, you know, Lord, uh, my problem's so big, my problem's so incredible, it's so it's so amazing, <laughs> right? It's so impressive, and and then we we question if God wants to heal us, you know, if if so, we put all the responsibility on Him, and and then we also because we've been talking about how incredible our problem is, then we sometimes question if God can. Lord, if you can do anything, if God can heal us. And so we talked about how we need to turn the prayer of desperation around into a prayer of expectation. And instead, we start off and we praise God. God, you're so awesome. You're so incredible. You're faithful. You've always been good to me. And uh, and then we, we also recognize and realize that God's power to heal is not far off somewhere uh, across the universe. It's right here. God put his power in us. It's his power to heal, but it, it is present in us. It's that close. And then last of all, we question not the power of God. We question the power of sickness because sickness may be present in us. We don't question the existence of sickness. Sickness may be present in us, but that's the, that's just the partial truth. You may be sick, yes, but the whole truth is that the Bible says you're healed, and the blood of Jesus says you're healed, and so the whole truth is I'm healed. So we approach sickness and healing as sickness is just part of the truth, and healing is the whole truth. And then we talked about the approach that was a point of faith approach, the woman with the issue of blood. And she said, if I just touch the hem of Jesus's garment, then I will be made well. So she had a statement. She said, if this condition is met, then this will be the outcome. And that sometimes we can have that approach too. And it's not wrong and it works. Uh, and there's many times where we say, if I could just get this one person to pray for me, if I could get to this meeting, I really believe something's going to happen. And many times it does. But we have to remember that when there's a breakthrough, there has to be follow through. And when you get a breakthrough in healing, you have to follow through with renewing your mind and filling yourself with the Word of God and learning how to walk out that healing. And then last of all, we talked about bold faith, right? We talked about that fully assured, fully convinced faith that the Roman centurion had when he saw Jesus and he said, look, I recognize you're under authority by, you know, God to the Father, but you are also in authority. Um, and when you say sickness be gone, I know that sickness will be gone. So you don't need to come to my house. You just need to say, uh, be healed and my servant will be healed. That was the story that we read. And so we just talked about this kind of faith that is kind of like where we all want to be. We want to have that fully convinced, fully assured type of faith that absolutely is not influenced by circumstances, but it's completely persuaded that what God says in his word is true. And we can get there. It's not just pastors or missionaries. All of us can get there. And so what I would uh, recommend that you do with your time, you don't have to do this. This is just a thought. But uh, go around the room and talk about different times where you have prayed for healing. Talk about, share testimonies. If somebody with you in this group uh, has a healing testimony when they were healed or they prayed for somebody and got healed, share that. That builds faith and that encourages people. And talk about where you might be. You know, I believe I've been praying desperate prayers. I want to learn how to pray a prayer of expectation. You know, I, I really 
pray those point of faith prayers. You know, kind of talk about this, discuss it, and uh, as a group, kind of step in deeper and grow in how to approach Jesus for healing, because Jesus still heals. And so that's the recap for this week. Discuss and go deeper.